hello friends once again welcome you back to my channel and last video we have seen some numericals from gate exam on instruction format today we will see big ndn and little ndn representation for multi byte operand how we are going to store it in memory right so let me start the little in big ndn are two ways of storing multi byte data it is this concept is applicable whenever your data consists of multiple bytes multi byte like your integer floating point numbers a double and all for single byte no ordering is required what does it mean basically say my word length is your four bytes my word length is four bytes and the machine is byte addressable hope you are clear with these two terms i have already explained this in my previous videos Addre byte addressable meaning is in the memory we are storing one byte of information in one location this is address 0 this is address 1 this is address 2 this is how we are going to store one one byte here one byte here one byte what is that byte is representing does not matter to me what i mean by byte addressable with one location we are storing one byte and now i am saying that my word length is 4 bytes or say my integer my integer takes 4 bytes as usual right 4 bytes so this integer consists of 4 bytes suppose one integer is there that i have represented in binary using 4 bytes total how many bits 32 bits so 32 bits is representing my integer now when i will store it in the memory then first i will store this byte or this byte meaning is whether i will start storing the bytes that belongs to my number from this end or this end that is given by this concept of ndns right the ndns says the big indian in in case of byte ordering and see this left hand side or right hand side ordering storing ordering of storing your bytes will come for multi byte data for single byte there is only one byte so there is only one ordering exist but for multi byte we can go from left hand side or we can come from right hand side right so in case of byte ordering big and when we say big and byte is called as high order byte so see this is nothing but my msb this is high order byte for my 32 bit of data and this will be my lsb or least significant data right or low order byte so the term ndn is derived from and right but the here this and does not mean the end of the number it indicates from which side of the number will be stored in your memory first right so the basic ndn layout can be seen in the table see big ndn what it does first it will store the most significant byte so in a uh, memory the lowest address when i start storing multi byte data in case of big ndn then the msb most significant byte will be stored first that means first will be your lowest address so at lowest address most significant byte will come then the next byte then the next byte then the lsb and in case of uh, your little ndn in case of little ndn what will happen the lowest byte will be stored first so lsb will be stored at the lowest address then next then next and msb will be stored at the highest address this is the two ordering of bytes so big will store first what most significant and least and last byte will be the least significant and in case of little and ns we will go by the little and that is least significant byte will be stored first in the memory and then so on till we store the most significant byte in the last address right so we'll do some examples here i'm just introducing the theory part of it so big indian ordering yeah, what it does the most significant byte that is the big end right of the data is placed at the byte within the lowest address means starting address at the starting address whatever is given to you you are going to store the uh, msb the rest of the data will be placed in the or in order in the next bytes in memory and this is basically followed by motorola processors right and this big ndn concept and other side is little ndn 
in case of little endian the least significant by the lsb will come first so it will uh, lsb of the data is placed at the byte with the lowest address lowest byte will hold the lsb in case of little indian and in case of big indian msb will be there at the lowest address that only only you need to remember and subsequent bytes you will keep on storing the rest of the data will be in order in the next subsequent byte addresses and little indian is followed mostly by our intel processors so this only we need to remember the difference between the two then we can give one one example who follows what type of uh, method right then next we will see some examples so what we will do we will take one number right this number we will represent in big as well as little indian machines suppose this is my intel machine this is my motorola machine and this number i need to store right so see first please understand here the number is represented in hexadecimal right because the number is preceded by 0x whenever a number is preceded by 0x we understand the number represents a hexadecimal number right so see here how many total bytes are there in a hexadecimal digit in a single hexadecimal digit we know there are four bits so what are the bytes one is 6 7 one is 4 5 one is 2 3 yes 2 3 right and one is 0 1 these are the bytes for in my total number right so i now need to store it in little indian so in case of little indian where from i'll start storing from the lsb side that means 67 will be stored first then 45 then 23 2 3 not 23 because it is a hexadecimal number it is not a decimal 23 then 0 1 this how we are going to store and if it is big in big andean format then we will start storing like this so first i will store this one then this then this then this right so you see this in a diagrammatic form if it is big andean so see my address starts from 100 101 102 103 like this i have taken the addresses now i need to store them in at these addresses i need to store this number so if it is big and n i will store 01 at the lowest address that means this one will be here next is 23 next is 45 next is 667 67. this is big and n if it is little and n then oops this is little spelling is wrong right the next is your little indian in case of little indian how you are going to store from the little end that is from the lsb side so first 67 next is 45 next is 23 next is 01 so what i basically we are discussing that we have a multi byte data and we need, need to place them in memory at starting at particular address then which byte you are going to place first in your memory if it is big indian then the msb will come first in the memory that is at the lowest address in case of little indian the little end that is the lsb will come at the lowest address hope this part is clear then in my next video i will do three examples where three numbers i'll be taking and i'll be storing in big indian in and as well as in little indian format thank you